Mitchell, great to catch up with you. Um, your thoughts on the numbers and what I'm seeing on the screen in the pre-market, is that just a short squeeze or is that a fundamental re-evaluation of this company? Uh, yeah, hi, thanks for having me on the program. Um, as, far, as far as the, uh, the results go, look, they, they beat on sales and gross margin. They came in line on earnings. So I think the stock uh, is reacting to the, uh, the sales beat. And I think the reaction does show how, how negative sentiment uh, was on this name going into the print and, and, and what it's been for the last, you know, almost a year or so. Um, so I think some of that, you know, people, people were short the stock um, because it's been a challenging company. And so there is, there is some short squeeze, but cl clearly the, the sentiment was negative and, uh, you know, the better top line is reflected in how the stock is trading pre-market. Um, I will say, though, that, you know, the stock uh, continues to be not a very cheap stock. Uh, you know, they gave, uh, they gave out your guidance on the call and they're calling for, you know, 14 and 19 cents and kind of where the stock is looking uh, pre-market. I mean, we're, we're still looking at like, you know, 80 times earnings on those numbers. The high end of that range. Mitch, how much are these concerns around Under Armour, uh, Under Armour specific and industry specific? This broad based concern about a slowdown in the sportswear industry that is not isolated to this company. How much of it is their problem and how much of it is a sector industry problem right now? Well, I, I think I think it is a combination. I mean, I would say it's 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 more an Under Armour issue than it is a, uh, a segment issue. Um, I, I do, my, you know, my view on the active wear space is that you know it has become a saturated category. Um, you know, certain certain customers uh, of theirs, particularly on kind of the sporting goods side, they are focusing more on on private labels, so that that puts pressure on uh, on the brands. But that said, I mean, I, I kind of view them as sort of the the odd ones out right now. You know, we've seen, uh, at least in North America, we've seen a, a pretty strong resurgence of the Adidas brand. You know, Nike yeah. obviously is kind of the gold, the gold standard in the U.S. And uh, you know, I think I think we've seen market share swing to those two brands. And you know, we sort of view the the activewear businesses, you know, maybe you know slightly better than a zero sum game. So if others are taking share, then somebody has to be donating it. And I think Under Armour has been kind of the donor over the last you know year plus.